Today in this video we'll be talking about the three most abundant nutrients in our plants and they are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. If you don't know who I am, I'm Till Simmons. I run this channel, uh, Agriculture Explained, with the sole purpose to help you either with your studies or in your farm, or generally just to know more about agriculture and plants and, and all that fun stuff. This whole channel is for free, so the only ask I have of you is to share with someone that you think would appreciate this um, and to subscribe. Awesome, let's get into it. So, as I said before, the most abundant and not, I wouldn't say the most important, but definitely the most abundant nutrients in our plant are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen to the extent that altogether they make up 96% of the plant's dry weight. Um, so that is if you got uh, if you dried it out um, and then you weighed the uh, nutrients individually, together they'd make up 96% of the plant mass, which is crazy. Like out of all the nutrients, there are out of all the uh, 17 different essential nutrients, these make up 96%. So it's, it's massive. So carbon makes up 45%, hydrogen itself makes up 6%, and then uh, oxygen makes up another 45%. And then that's the concentrations in parts per million. Now, the reason why these make up basically the bulk of the plant is because they have a really important function as just basically the structural backbone of the plant. So everything, every organic compound has carbon, um, not all have oxygen, but most have oxygen, and then hydrogen, they all have hydrogen basically. And so within plants, these four... Um, Elemental nutrients make up the backbone of all our organic compounds. So, for example, glucose, which is which is the product of photosynthesis, which is one of the most important processes in a plant. Effectively, they take carbon dioxide and water and make sugar. And so you can see here, this is the scientific um, structure of glucose. So you have basically a carbon ring with a bit of oxygen in there. Each of the carbon are connected to uh, hydrogen or an alcohol group, which is a OH. Um, and then there's a funny little branch up here. And that's really what gluco glucose is. And so there's no other nutrients involved here. It's purely just carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So from here, the plant really takes this compound and then builds out other compounds. So whether it be amino acids, which eventually get turned into proteins, or it's a cellulose or lignin, like that's it all comes from glucose and it all comes from um, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now the forms that you get these, we talked about before, but you get uh, carbon dioxide, which is a gas in the atmosphere, so that contributes to our carbon, as well as our oxygen, I haven't put it in, but contributes to our oxygen. We get hydrogen from our water, and then in terms of our oxygen, we have oxygen gas, so H2 and uh, water, which we have our uh, oxygen on the end of our water molecule, as well as carbon dioxide. So typically these nutrients aren't the most limiting factor in our production system. I mean, of course, if, you, if you're deficient in water and you don't have enough water, that's going to prevent your plant from growing. And really you're not gonna run out of carbon dioxide unless you're doing something really right and you're getting all other nutrients perfectly and spot on. Um, then that's not really going to be a limiting factor. Oxygen is not going to be a limiting factor. It could be water, which might reduce your carbon dioxide intake because it's tomatoes clothes and, and whatnot. But typically, we're not, we can't really improve these nutrients to increase to get a plant response. Unless you're in like a greenhouse or something where you, you can control your carbon dioxide levels um, and you can really hone in on your, on your water um, update. But typically, other things give out first. Um, and it's more important to, to focus on those. Anyways, well, this is a quick video. Um, in the next ones, we'll be talking about uh, NPK, uh, some of the other macros, and some of the other micros. So make sure to subscribe so you can follow along um, the rest of the plant nutrition series. Awesome. My name is Steel Simmons. This is Agriculture Explained. Cheers.